Her previous owner couldn't pet her or hold her, but I knew she was just really scared. So I'm just gonna give her some time, give her some space. I'm just gonna look for a place to hide. Are you gonna hide with my umbrella? Okay, I'll leave you alone. She's hiding right here. Welcome to day two. I'm not sure if she's ready to take food from me, but I guess it's worth a try, right? Okay, there's no need to hiss, okay? This is all yours. I'm just going to be here every day just to show her that I don't mean any harm. I go in day in, day out just to prove to her that even if she attacks me, I'm not going to do anything. She's very food motivated, thank God. I found out very quickly that she's not the aggressive cat that people say she is. Let's see if she'll attack my oven mitten. <gasps> she doesn't. She was pretty scared of the palm of my hand. You just don't like human hands. Somebody in her life probably used to hit her. Hey kiddos. I have nine other cats. This is not the time for curiosity, you guys. I do take a long time to integrate my cats. They're all rescues and need their time and space to get to know one another. Right, half of these things are installed. Still got this much to go. I had to readjust my lifestyle and redesign my entire apartment to accommodate for them. Burrito, found in Malaysia, severely injured, now is a distinguished gentleman. Strawberry was found in a garbage dump site. And look at her now. She's such a cute girl that loves to pose all the time. So Ding Ding got introduced to each of them one at a time. The the turning point was when she was able to accept their scents and have them in her space. She got a lot more playful, and I even got her meowing for the first time. On good days, I can just approach her and pet her like this. Ding Ding went from an aggressive cat to an affectionate cat that shows you how she loves you in her own ways.